desperate to hurt someone so kind. And there's no one that could say she wasn't the most giving person, so why wouldn't you just ask? Because if you would have just asked her, I'm sure she would have given you the world. That's all for now. I'm Lester Holt. Thanks for joining us. Southern California's the latest storm definitely going out with a bang. Hail pounding the roof of this home in the valley. And check out this neighborhood in Lake Balboa. A mix of rain and hail making for some very slick streets out there today. And of course the storm, well, it did not spare the Inland Empire. Right there you see Riverside drenched as well today. And we also saw lightning and heard thunder as well. Tonight the good news. The severe weather has moved out of the area and it's drying out. As you look from the four cameras across our region tonight, we have live team coverage. Our meteorologist Melissa McGee will have a look at the forecast and the sunshine headed our way coming back tomorrow. But we're going to start right now with Robert Kovacic. He is live in Northridge with a look at the areas most impacted by this storm. Robert. Colleen, we're live here in Northridge where it, it turns out it's a beautiful night and we have been talking to Southern Californians who are recovering from the shock of this sudden and intense storm cell. They tell us, listen, we're used to the surprise when the ground rumbles beneath us, but not when the sky roars above us. And that was just the beginning. Hi. All smiles now, but earlier. My grandson freaked out because the noise is like blah, 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 blah. it was scary this was no child's play i'm first alert meteorologist david bigger we're breaking into programming right now nbc4 breaking into programming with a severe thunderstorm warning and it quickly delivered an intense downpour in chatsworth while across much of the san fernando valley it wasn't just rain but Schemers, grievers. That's right, hail. This is what it looked like in a Van Nuys parking lot as our viewers looked out their windows to remember the sudden change in landscape. And the hail just came down like cottage cheese. It was uh, laying there on the deck and uh, was bouncing. You could hear the, the rush of the, the storm coming through. It was a mixed bag from the sky, all right, offering some a bird's eye view. I flew in this evening around 4.30 and the weather was crazy when I got to the airport. What I was feel it like? like I could look in every direction and see a different kind of weather. There was rain in one direction, sunshine over here, blue skies with clouds. It was all over the place. With nightfall, the rain continued to fall, moving into Pomona and Riverside. Unlike the past few weeks, this storm didn't stay long, but left its mark in another way. It was just really weird. <laughs> Anita has quite a tale to tell her grandson. All at once, it was really, really something. But it most likely won't be a bedtime story. And the question is now, Colleen, will this be a lingering nightmare? No damage reported as of yet from the storm. But remember, our hillsides were already overly saturated before it hit. So it remains to be seen now, and we will wait to learn if it just passed through or will leave something permanent behind. Live tonight here in Northridge, I'm Robert Kavasik. Let's go back to you. You're right about that, Robert. Thank you. Melissa is here right now. This one definitely came in as a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Where did it come from? Well, there was just a lot of instability still in the atmosphere, Colleen, from the rain we had yesterday. So when you get sunshine that comes on through, it really starts to ignite things across our region. And that's certainly what we had. As we look at the first alert radar network, you can see things thankfully are dry across much of Southern California, but a lot of the moisture started a little after 3.30 this afternoon. And if you watch the activity, it was really intense across areas to our north, and it continued to sag to the south fairly quickly across our 
our region. But as we go throughout the rest of tonight, we've got a mostly clear sky. So satellite and radar showing you we're on the back side of that area of low pressure now departing to our north and east. And we look back to the north and west to find our next storm flow and our steering mechanism. We've got a mostly clear sky as we go to bed tonight and even wake up tomorrow morning. So we'll talk about what we can expect.